Hey there, my name is James and I'm the Technical Community Manager here at Parsec. And today I want to show you how to play Player Unknown Battlegrounds right here on the Raspberry Pi, streaming with Parsec. So there's no way that you can play Player Unknown Battlegrounds on the Raspberry Pi, it's just way too underpowered. But the thing you can do with the Raspberry Pi is decode video super well. So this little $35 box um, plays back video flawlessly. And what we do with Parsec is we send it across the network from your gaming machine or a machine that you rent in the cloud. And we send it across the network and we play it back at 1080p60. And the great thing is the Raspberry Pi is super low latency. So it almost just feels like you've got a gaming machine right here in front of you on a $35 box. It's awesome. All right, so right here I've got Raspi and installed on the Raspberry Pi 3. I've got the power jack put in there, an HDMI cable, a network jack, like a Cat5 cable, and a uh, wireless dongle for my keyboard and, and mouse. So the thing you really want to know here is that you don't want to use the, the Raspberry Pi's built-in Wi-Fi. It's totally garbage. Um, the thing you do want to do is plug in a network cable or go on Amazon or somewhere like that and buy a 5G AC dongle. All right, so you've got the Raspberry Pi 3 set up. Now let's install Parsec. So to get Parsec running on your Raspberry Pi, you need to go to our website, parsec.tv, and you'll find a sign up button there where you can sign up and get an account. You definitely need that account to tie your Raspberry Pi and your gaming rig together. Uh, without that, they won't know where each other are and they'll never find each other. The next step is to download it on your gaming rig and your Raspberry Pi. So your gaming rig needs to be running Windows 8.1 or better, and your Raspberry Pi needs to be running Raspberry Pi. So I'm just gonna download it and then in a second it'll be downloaded. And uh, you can go through and install it. There's a couple other things you need to do regarding the mouse polling rate and uh, the video memory. So please read the tutorial in the video description to get a better idea about how to go through this. Without that mouse change and the video change, things won't work quite how you want them to. After everything's installed, you can open Terminal on the uh, Raspberry Pi. All you need to do is type in Parsec you'll get a request to enter your email address and your password. All right, so you can click yes to save your password. And I will pop a list of your available servers. So I've got my workstation here, which is packing a GTX 1060. So it's great for PUBG. I'm going to press one on the keyboard because that's the server I want. And then I'm going to press enter. One of the really cool things about Parsec is when you connect to your machine away from home or wherever it is, you get to see the desktop, which means you could browse the internet or you could watch movies or listen to music as well as play games. So I'm going to open up PUBG that's already running on the machine. And you can see here that it's right there on the screen. And I can press play or I can change my character around, but it's all right there in front of me. All right, so I jumped into a game. I'm just in the lobby now, but the one thing you definitely can feel with Parsec is it just feels so great. I mean, you move the mouse around and it just goes with you. You don't feel any lag. Um, the, the picture quality is pretty good. You can definitely see into the grass details and all that kind of thing. And the frame rate really keeps up. You really get that 1080p 60 feels. All right, so we jumped. We just got to fly down in. You can see I can move the mouse around, see the whole view. It's just like the game at home. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing different about it. It's exactly like what you're used to. So it's really amazing. We fly down, all these textures will load in just like they should. Um, it's definitely better to run the game at lower settings than it is to play it at super high. Um, you'll, you'll get more frames a second, even though the GPU might be able to handle ultra, ultra, ultra. Um, Parsec does some weird stuff with the, uh, the um, post-processing, so it's best to leave all that stuff turned down. Um, I would recommend leaving anti-aliasing quite high though because it definitely makes the grass and all the other textures look pretty good. But as you can see here, there's another guy running down and I need to gap it to these houses as quickly as possible before I get my face blown off. All right, so I'm just gonna run in and I think I'm gonna take that house on the, the right there. And we'll see, he's gonna come in, he can see me. He's ready for a, let's do a, let's do a fist battle there. All right, let's smack this, let's smack him. Can we do it or do we just run away? <laughs> And he took me out, he, he nailed me. <laughs> and that's what PUBG is all about, man, is getting nailed by a topless guy with his fists. So there you go. Play Unknown Battlegrounds on the Raspberry Pi 3 with Parsec. If you want to try Parsec, you can sign up for free. And if you don't even have your own rig, we can hire you one of those too. If you'd like to come hang out with us on Discord, I've left a link in the video description below. And if you're having any trouble, come find us there too, as we'll give you some help. 
And until next time, peace out.